this is something which uh, I read a sort of critique of yours of the budget where you said that almost all finance ministers including yourself have failed the person, the citizen in yes, rural countries. Yes, yes. And that's why, I mean, I expected that a person like Pranam Mukherjee, who has more experience of politics than me, would think of the common man. I mean, he presented probably his first budget in the 80s. And he would think of the Aam Admi in the rural areas. I uh, do realize. I so has the Aam Admi been ignored in completely, this budget? Completely, completely. His life is not going to change at all. This budget is not going to have an impact on the life of the Aam Admi. And he will continue to suffer the, uh, the burden of inflation. The big reform which uh, Prime Minister has referred to and the Finance Minister is also trying to push is on GST. But they have said on record that BJP, your party, is holding back uh, their approval on GST, which was a thought which was created during the NDA regime. Now, why is the BJP not supporting the government on GST reform? Well, let me first compliment you for asking that question of the Prime Minister, which has uh, led to all this. But I think it's completely unfounded. You know, I uh, was responsible for bringing VAT uh, uh, in replacement of sales tax among in the states. And when I was dealing with the states, I found that completely irrespective of the party to which the government belonged, each state looked at its own long-term interests. So, I exper my experience would show that there were Congress-ruled states which were supporting VAT, there were Congress-ruled states which were opposing VAT, there were BJP-ruled states which were opposing VAT, there were BJP-ruled states which were supporting VAT. Take the case of GST. And thank you for giving us the credit for having thought of this uh, uh, radical legislation. Madhya Pradesh has been opposed to GST from day one. Bihar has been in support of GST from day one. Both are BJP NDA ruled states. And the Bihar uh, finance minister is a BJP person. Gujarat came in the picture and the minister of Gujarat to which the prime minister referred is a much later development. But in all these years, I am surprised that the finance minister of India has not been able to carry conviction with the finance minister or the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. Why? There must be some concerns which remain unaddressed. And therefore, the point which I'd like to make is the finance minister of India must reach out to those state governments which still nurture some doubts about the GST. It's not merely BJP ruled states. Uttar Pradesh which is not ruled by BJP, but as a party, is also opposed to but GST. But as a party, the legislation in the parliament, would you be supporting we, that? We have met with our state government representatives. They have expressed their concerns to us. We have told them, please go to the uh, empowered committee of uh, state finance ministers. There you express your concerns and let the finance ministers uh, uh, address those concerns. We can't tell Madhya Pradesh we can't tell Chhattisgarh, we can't tell any other state that despite the loss of revenue, despite the fears of other kinds that you have, you must toe the line. No, no political party will do it. Even the Congress party did not do it. So what is the way ahead, sir? The so way ahead is very simple. The way ahead is for the finance minister to reach out to the state finance ministers, take on board their concerns, not overrule them, not brush them aside, address those concerns and make sure that a consensus is created. But you are in principle still in favor of it. We are, we have, you said we initiated the whole thing. So how can I stand before you today or sit before you today and say we are opposed to it? No, we think GST is a good thing. But subject to the overall constitutional arrangement, let there be uh, a consensus built in the Empowered Committee of State Finance. Indian mutual funds to collect, to receive money from foreign foreigners and invest in their stock market, which could be one reason why their stock markets are going up. Where is this money going to come from? 